Today we're going to be using the new vintage floral and cherry blossom transfers from Dixie Belle to decorate some drawer sides. These transfers are a little bit different than the others in the Dixie Belle line, so I hope you find some helpful tips in this video. This is my design that I'm going for here, and I'm going to um, alternate colored flowers and a black and white flower. So let's go ahead and repeat this design here. Um, all I've done so far on my drawer is I've got one coat of Savannah Mist over my Dixie Bell Boss. Um, I'm going to take my Dixie Bell sanding sponge and I'm just going to lightly sand my paint. And that just smooths the paint out so it's ready to accept the transfer. And then I want to make sure that I tack off any dust just using a tack cloth. All right, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and start with a black flower, my black and white flower. So I'm going to find my placement on that and get a rough idea there first. And right, I think I like it facing this direction. So when you open the drawer, you'll see this here. I think that's a pretty line. So I'm going to take my transfer and I'm going to go ahead and remove my backing sheet. And I can place that right on my drawer, just where I want it. Okay, that's my placement there. Once I've got my transfer place, I am going to take a little bit of heat just to soften the glue. These have a little bit more glue than the other Dixie Belle designs. All right, just a few seconds with that heat gun. A hair dryer would also work. And that's just going to encourage my glue to want to stick to my piece. I'm going to rub over the entirety of my transfer. Alright, and then I'm going to start pulling back my backing sheet. And I'm going to pull the backing sheet away as I rub with my transfer stick. This comes in the package with the transfers. And that is my design fully attached to my drawer. Now I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm going to rub outward from the center of my transfer. And I'm just going to press those edges down. When I press down, let me take you guys in a little bit closer here. When I press down, you might notice that there are some little bits that have adhesive on them right here, like this. If I rub with my finger, I can rub that right away. And that just disappears. I'm just doing this with my finger all the way around the edges of my transfer, rubbing away any little bits. And I'm just going to lightly sand. And that design looks good. I'm not going to overly rub that. It will get sealed in my clear coat. I'm just rubbing away any loose bits. Let's go ahead and put a colored design next to it. The colored ones are a little bit easier to engage. So I'm going to repeat the process, find my placement, remove my backing sheet. Just kind of playing with my design a little bit. I think I want it to go this way. And I can fill in with smaller bits, but I always start with my larger transfer pieces first. A little bit of heat just to soften that glue up and make it want to stick to my piece. Just enough that I can feel warmth on that backing sheet. I do have some little edges here, so I'm going to press those with my finger. Rub off that excess glue just using my finger. Pressing outward from the transfer. In the center of the transfer. And that gets rid of that entire edge. Coming back with my sanding sponge, just a light sanding. Not rubbing back and forth, I'm kind of doing this the same from the center of my transfer outward. And that's a beautiful.
All right, I've got this entire drawer side done. Now I'm gonna come back with my Dixabelle Satin Clear Coat. I'm gonna brush a coat of clear coat on. No need to wait. I can seal right over the top of these once they're attached. All right, let's take a look at my finished design. I've got two drawer sides done. Those match up really pretty. That will peek out of my furniture piece every time the drawers are open. I can fill in with any smaller little uh, details if I want, but I think that looks beautiful.